the mother of Jennifer Farber, Dulos, briefly testified today as Dulos's five children sat in the courtroom. CBS 2's Tony Aiello has today's developments in this closely watched trial. At 88 years old, Gloria Farber faces an unimaginable challenge, raising five grandchildren after their mother Jennifer was allegedly murdered and their father, Fotis Dulos, died by suicide after being charged with the crime. Farber's testimony Wednesday was brief. Do you have custody of the five children? I do. And since May 24th, uh, 2019, have any of the children ever seen or spoken to their mother? No. Michelle Traconis kept her reaction in check when the five Dulos children entered the courtroom to support their grandmother. Traconis is accused of conspiring with Fotis Dulos to kill his estranged wife, then helping him cover up the crime as he disposed of evidence and cleaned a vehicle used in the crime. Half of what I just heard is speculation upon speculation upon speculation. After the state rested its case, defense attorney John Schoenhorn made a spirited argument all charges should be dismissed. There's no evidence whatsoever that Michelle Traconis knew what Fotis Doulos or anyone he conspired with or uh, aided uh, did to Jennifer Doulos on that day. The prosecution argued the jury could easily infer guilt from Traconis' actions and that her boyfriend's bitter divorce impacted her life and provided a motive. During her interview, the defendant actually said that this had been two years of torture. She talked about applying for a restraining order against Ms. Dulos. Judge Kevin Randolph ruled there is enough evidence to send all six charges to the jury. All testimony is expected to wrap up next week. Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. And the judge denied a defense attempt to enter into evidence the note Fotis Dulos left after his death by suicide. In it, he wrote Michelle Traconis had nothing to do with Jennifer's disappearance.